March 18th, Mike Tyson, Ray the Ruddick, Ray the Ruddick dies. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. We're with uh, Frank Warren here, the press conference for Derek Dazor, the Mokra Tyson Fury fight that is fast, um, fast approaching. Uh, Derek Dazor begging to pick that fight, which I think is getting a bit soft. I think he's getting soft regarding what he's doing out there, but in the ring, I promise you, he's as tough as, tough as old ropes. He's never been so fit, I've never seen him walk around the before. And uh, he's got a bit between his teeth, and he really does fancy the job, as you heard. Uh, what he said at the press conference, he feels he's got, he's got the, the tools and the capability to stop Tyson Fury. You've been with him since the beginning. Obviously, you've been up and down that he's suffered as well. Uh, he's the example of the boxers that even with one loss, he still can come back, still can get a big fight. I always say, it's, you've got to remember, that, yeah, he, you know, a couple of losses, the, so, the losses he had, you look at the amount of experience he had going into some of those fights, he never got beat by the language, so it was the most diabolical decision he should have won. Um, the fight against uh, Klitschko, if, you, if he had a few more fights, I think he could have even won that fight. You know, he, he, he was there at the end, he was and he switched all sorts of problems. But the main thing was during that period is that you could see you could see what was in him but he was carrying this excess weight. He was training hard but his discipline outside the ring wasn't good. You know, what he's what he's put into his body, into his cakes and biscuits and so forth. And uh, he's you know the penny drops and now he's he's got himself into a, into a situation where he knows that um, you only get into this what you put out of it and uh, it was an excellent expedition. He's a piece of over three stone lighter than what he was when he fought Cooper. Um, he's called himself Mr. Box Nation. Um, he's obviously a big fight from the card of that. And the card he fight, he said the day day fight. This is the kind of fight, another fight for him as well. Um, he is a fight, isn't he? He is. I mean, he's been there at the beginning of this. And, I, you know, and, I, and, I, and Derek and I have been together since the beginning. And he's, you know, and I, and I think a lot of them must, you know, I think we've worked together. I've stood by him through thick and thin and, uh, and supported him throughout because I think he's a, a good talent. And I think that he's. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, you know, he's a decent fellow at the end of the day, and, uh, and the things are now with his family, you know, his daughter now, and he's, he's, he's in a good place as far as that's concerned, and I think he's in good, a good place as far as it comes to his concern, so hopefully that will translate into a win on the 29th, and from that, uh, he gets a shot at Klitschko. You, you mentioned that in the press conference, you know, you spoke to those people, the Vladimir versus Pilev winner, the winner of this fight does get that, when, when was that called? Well, what happens is the Klitschko go fight in, uh, on Friday night, or Saturday night, sorry, against Kulev. After that, he's allowed one more fight, which should take place in March. Mm. After he has his fight in March, the WBO have ordered that there are 30, 30 days of negotiation period for us to negotiate with the winner of the fight on the 29th. And uh, if we can't agree terms, then it will go to Kirsten. Okay. Now looking at the card, the card's all sorted now. Uh, anything on Christopher? Um, that's all sorted, isn't it? Fine with him? Um, well, <laughs> it's not fine at the moment. We try, I mean, he's going to fight. We've just got to get this press conference situation sorted out with him. And, and, the, and they, they will have to get together. I mean, it's in their contract. I don't want to get into all the, the nonsense with him, uh, you know, and get into a, a legal situation. Mm. The fact of the matter is, the fight is contracted. The fact of the matter is, he is obliged to, to, to uh, show up and, and attend press conferences to meet you guys and talk about the fight. And the fact of the matter is, whatever way you want to look at it, they have to weigh in together. At the press conference, uh, when, when he didn't attend, a BT Sport were there. Is that something? Is there well, something very up there? Or? It, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very disappointing that you know you get, you know, as I said at the time, you get you know you get people involved in the sport. You get a new broadcasters uh, who spent who's going to devote some air time to it and help promote not just the fight but promote the sport. And he didn't show up. Yeah, you know, it's, it's disrespectful. Uh, talking about, uh, well, I say disrespectful, you put out a press release recently, Bradley Storm has obviously left, uh, joined up with Match, and how disappointing is that to lose someone like Bradley Storm? Well, our contract's expired, yeah. and uh, as far as I was concerned, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we talked, we, when I say we talked, I mean, I mean he's been, he's, he's been uh, quoted as saying that he, he rang up and discussed this with him, well, we, I don't recall that conversation, but it is what it is, it is a disappointment to me, because, you know, I'm quite... I've put a lot of time and effort into Bradley. He, uh, he had a lot of injuries during the, his career. He can only manage to get ten fights off because he had uh, hand injuries, uh, which kept him out for a while. He had an operation on his eye a couple of months ago, so all those stops him having more fights than he would have done. But um, you know, it's, it's it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about. It. I am disappointed, but I just look to to work with the guys that are, who want to work and, and, and want to work together. 
we've got some great talent, some great young talent coming through there. You know, and I look at that division and I look at what's what you know with the fighters that I will be working with in uh, Bradley's weight division. And there's a couple of guys there, certainly one of them, I think is going to be probably fighting Bradley sometime next year, which will be a great fight. You've got a lot of prospects on the I see prospects, you've got a lot of guys on the show on, on the 29th. Yeah. One that a lot of people are talking about at the moment is Mitchell Smith. Yeah. How far do you think he can go? I think, he can, I think he's got capable of going all the way. But, you know, again, he's, he's been uh, uh, dogged with a couple of injuries. And, mm. you know, it's like he's not, the momentum, he's not had the momentum he needs. Yeah. Um, hopefully that's going to be okay. He gets a good win under his belt on the show. And next year he's got to make it a big year for himself. All right, there you go. Thanks, Thanks for the box. Thank you, your man. Cheers, mate.